Okay, my name is Jay Daniel. I'm 22 years old. Uh, I'm a Detroit native. I was born in D.C., but I've lived here most of my life. And uh, I'm an up-and-coming DJ. play uh, house music, house and techno. Uh, you know, just dance music overall. My mother, she put out a record in 93, uh, produced by Carl Craig. It's called Stars. Uh, so that's pretty much my introduction to um, house music. And um, like I said, I, I lived in Maryland for a second, and I moved back here after high school, and that's when I started DJing and just um, digging around the city, just going to different record stores. Uh, I found dance music was, you know, I felt like it worked the, the best, you know, for clubs or whatnot, parties, just to get people, you know, on the upbeat or whatnot. When I was younger, I listened to a lot of hip hop, so like Jay Dilla, uh, Q Tip, you know, Tribe Called Quest, that type of stuff. And then later, uh, artists like Larry Heard and uh, Carl Craig, of course, you know. Uh, who else? Marcellus Pittman and my friend Kyle, he's also a DJ. He's uh, 21. So uh, he put me onto a lot of stuff. Yeah, you know, as far as producing and uh, like, you know, just what to look for when you're digging. What I dig is uh, finding a good record that you, you know, you'd be able to play out at a party, at a club, or something you might want to sample, you know, just anything that catches your interest, interest you know, uh, yeah, just digging, <laughs> yeah, search, searching for records, trying to find gold, because there's a lot of records in Detroit, not all of them are good, but we're a lot more spoiled, say, than other cities like New York, where you find a, a decent record here, it would be two or three bucks, there it would be eight, you know, maybe ten, eleven, twelve dollars. Yeah, well, a lot of promoters, like, from overseas, they'll hit me up on um, Facebook or SoundCloud because they hear my mixes. I have mixes on SoundCloud. And uh, they just hit me up, you know, saying they like my stuff, blah, 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 and I'll tell them to contact my agents or whatnot. But, uh, but here, when I first started, it was a lot harder because, like you're saying, people aren't convinced that, you know, I know what I'm doing or whatnot. And uh, also, I wasn't young enough, old enough, sorry, when I first started DJing to get in the clubs because, you know, it was 21 and over. I was 19 when I started. So, yeah, that, that was a difficult. How did you overcome those hurdles? Uh, just being in the basement and digging, you know, finding stuff that I like, trying to uh, form my ear and uh, trying to convey what I wanted to, you know, convey artistically to people through, you know, mixing and blending and uh, selection and just, you know, kind of, I guess, proving, proving my name, paying my dues, whatnot. Uh, I played Movement Festival last year. That was like my first big festival. And uh, me and my friend Kyle, we have a, a monthly that we do called Fundamentals. It's kind of on hiatus now. We're looking for a new venue, but uh, we're going to get that started back up. And that was really a good um, outlet for me because that was my first, uh, like, you know, continuous gig, consistent gig where I was able to, you know, just practice what I've been practicing in the basement, you know, so people what I have, you know, to offer. I'm a drummer, so I like a lot of percussions. You know, um, like deep grooves, you know what I mean? Uh, good bass lines, just like percussive elements. That's really what catches my ear. And uh, I like like banging stuff, you know, like some like uh, Chicago house music, the older stuff, and like techno, like Jeff Mills, you know, Paul Craig, Kevin Saunders, and those, those dudes. Um, yeah, and it's some newer cats. You know, I, I produce also, so I'm always tuned in to see who's making what, you know. Well, I'm playing uh, two gigs. One to be confirmed, but the two are confirmed in uh, London and uh, Cologne. That's uh, coming up next month. And the uh, London and Cologne gigs are with my boy Kyle. He's, uh, he has a label called Wild Oats. So it's uh, kind of a label showcase night that he's doing over there. And he, they pulled me in uh, to assist. And um, the one in Leeds, I'm not sure about that one yet. But that would be my uh, solo gig. The only one that I have over there as of now. I kind of know pretty much what they want to hear because, you know, just. Like this, like I said, the stuff I have online, they, they dig that type of stuff, you know, so it kind of all depends. I like to pack a lot of records because the other night, matter of fact, I had a gig in Ferndale. I didn't bring enough records, you know. I was kind of, you know, limited as far as, far as how uh, far I could branch out, you know, with what I was playing. So my gig, it was kind of a bit more linear, so I like to bring a lot a lot of records. And um, as far as researching, I like, I sometimes I kind of uh, ruin it by looking at the, the club, you know, trying to see what it's going to be like and uh, like kind of reading reviews and watching videos and stuff but uh, yeah I don't really research much as far as what people like I just like to play what I play here you know and they, that's what they like you know I should be releasing something soon uh, probably on my boy Kyle's label and then I want to get my label started soon you know I, I just gotta get cracking on it really it's a uh, it's a different experience compared to um, DJing whereas you're uh, just playing with what you know other people have created and uh, you know, producing, you're creating on your own, you know, and uh, you're having to pull from almost nothing. 
you know, it's just raw energy, you know. So it's kind of a journey, but it's, you know, it's, it's a good creative journey. Lots to learn.